Hello YouTube, the uh, Cloud Tech Guy here. Wanted to let you know I just released the CompTIA CSA Bootcamp on Udemy. So let's go ahead and get you up to date about the, the, the bootcamp and what we'll be covering. So um, I cover all the domains on, on the exam. Uh, the exam is, is very uh, challenging even if you're in the security world. There's a lot to cover. It covers uh, basically a fair amount of what I call far but narrow areas where you need to know some of the, the tools like uh, Nessus and Metasploit, uh, other areas like that. So I really go pretty deep and you also get all the materials to help you uh, print out and, and highlight and, and study before you take the test. So we're gonna be covering what the role means. Uh, again, this is all around the domain uh, areas that you're gonna be tested on with the uh, CompTIA CSA. So again, this is a course I typically teach in about five days. I've got it down to about 10 hours or so. And again, um, we're just getting you ready to take the cert. I didn't develop the course around you know, trying to get you from zero to 100. I'm sort of expecting that you're already at 60 and you just need to get certified to prove your knowledge for your employment uh, to get other opportunities to have recognition. So that's the goal of the course. However, like I had said, you get all the materials. So um, I'm gonna cover things fairly uh, fast. I'm going to explain really important areas on the test. But again, all the domains are covered very well. That's not the question. So again, I really designed this for someone that uh, has experience, not someone that doesn't have experience. So again, I'm, I'm making the expectations very clear. Just wanted to make sure that um, you don't take the course and you don't have any security certifications or experience and somehow you expect to pass a test. That probably won't happen without a lot of studying and following up on the resources I give you. So with that said, what are we gonna cover? We're gonna cover what the role's about, cover reconnaissance techniques. We'll touch on security appliances like Palo Alto. We'll talk about logging and analysis. We'll talk about managing vulnerabilities. We'll talk about remediating those vulnerabilities. We'll then talk about designing secure software, working with your developers. We'll talk about how to handle an incident, how to uh, deal with forensics, for example, as well. What happens if there's a crime that happens or there's an attacker? We'll talk about analyzing incidents, trying to get together after an incident, cleaning up, trying to figure out what went wrong, the lessons learned. Uh, again, we're gonna cover all this pretty technically, so this is a high-level intro. I'll leave it up to you to follow the links and um, see if the course makes sense to you um, or not. Secure design around the networks. We'll talk about identity and access management. So we're gonna definitely cover areas uh, around SAML, OpenID, OpenAuth. We'll talk about Kerberos and numerous other technologies that you need to know. We'll talk about secure frameworks as well. So again, following perhaps a CSA uh, or NIST around some of the secure frameworks, maybe you wanna follow ISO. Again, these are frameworks you need to know for the test. We're gonna talk about secure designs, talk about cloud resources that are there, and for our federal government friends, I'm gonna cover some areas around DOD and State Department, uh, D, uh, 8570 as well. Now, this certification is in the process of being accredited by uh, the Department of Defense so that you can get your uh, IAM uh, accred you know, certification levels approved. Uh, I don't know exactly when that's going to be, but I know that uh, CompTIA has submitted the paperwork to the government. So I assume it'll probably be done, um, you know, sometime in the next two to four months I'm, I'm from, from when they submitted it. So, and then we'll talk about uh, how to look for cybersecurity analyst roles. I'll give you some really good websites that you may not know about, not just LinkedIn, of course. 
We'll talk about intelligence careers. We'll talk about clear connections and several other sites. And then, of course, I'm going to talk about taking the exam, what you know, how to study for resources you could look at. And then I talk about uh, the CompTIA uh, security roadmap, as well as keeping your certification renewed. So let's go ahead and just talk about what the exam's about. So this exam is designed for IT security analysts, vulnerability analysts, and threat intelligence analysts. So this is going to certify that you have the knowledge and pretty much what we just touched on. I won't read it all to you, but we're going to go through fundamental principles, of course, talk about analysis tools out there you could use, and we'll talk about forensics tools. We're going to uh, discuss uh, also, too, around uh, best practices around uh, vulnerability analysis, forensics. Uh, we're also going to talk about, for example, uh, securing your network with a uh, valid design. We're going to talk about virtualization. Tons of topics that are in each domain that uh, is, is uh, just, you know, again, it'll take me hours to go through all the areas we're going to touch on. This is a very condensed and very detailed course. Uh, I've been a CompTIA SME for quite a while, and I have a pretty good idea of what they're going to test you on. And the test is, is passable. And, and uh, again, I didn't have much of an issue with it, but I would say that it was a very hard exam, especially if you don't know a lot of the um, tool sets that are out there or don't have experience in some areas. It could definitely um, make the difference between passing or, or not passing. So we're going to talk about tools and techniques. We're going to talk about inter interpreting data. For example, we're going to talk about logging. We're going to talk about tools like Splunk. We're going to talk about uh, uh, monitoring sources as well. We'll talk about APIs. We're going to then discuss uh, host and web applications vulnerabilities, for example. We're going to talk about some of the typical issues that you're going to run into, like DDoS. We're going to talk about uh, SQL injection, VM hopping. We'll then talk about uh, insider threats, outsider threats. We'll talk about the typical idiots that you have in your company. Um, and, and again, just just the you know again, just no offense, but uh, you know one of the big issues that you're going to run into as a cybersecurity analyst is that the threats sometimes are not from outside; they're going to come from inside. So we're going to talk about how to mitigate those threats. Very important uh, area we're going to cover there. And it's heavily tested on the test as well. We're going to talk about remediating identity um, issues. So we're going to talk about, of course, SAML, OpenID, OpenAuth, Kerberos, PKI. We're going to talk about encryption. We're going to talk about role-based security. We're going to talk about mandatory vacations. If, if you can think about it, we're going to talk about it. It's this detailed. We're going to talk about different roles response team we're going to talk about red team blue team and white team you have to know that for the test as well i'm going to make sure you know the frameworks that are out there we're going to talk a lot about nist we're going to talk about many other frameworks that are out there like sabsa and um, itil we're going to touch on all these that you need to know and then we're going to talk about some cloud services that are out there too that may help you um, do your job easier so this exam here, it's 85 questions in 165 minutes. Passing score is 750, skill of 100 to 900, $320. And um, I do leave some suggested links in there uh, as well to get a voucher for 10% off. There's uh, definitely a few floating around um, that you can get to, to reduce the cost as well. So I wanted to thank you for taking um, the the last nine and a half minutes with me to uh, make sure you understand what the course is about. I, I do care. I want to see you do well on the test. Reach out if I can help you in any way. Um, as, as you would expect, I do hold uh, training on site, provide custom classes. But again, this is a course I designed just for Udemy. So let's see if we get you CompTIA CSA uh, certified here.